can now here we go for uh, IgA now IgA is the second most uh, common serum uh, in, in serum immunoglobulin that we can find and uh, it is actually is a monomer but it can form a dimer and it can only form dimer when it is secreted it, is, it can be found in secretions like tears saliva colostrum mucus and all these things so normally IgA uh, does not fix any complement most of the case it does not fix complement now here you can see the dimerized structure of IgA they are joined together two dimers are joined together using a J chain not only that but we can see also a presence of another type of chain as you can see which is denoted here with this brown uh, with this dark uh, reddish color it is called another protein or peptide segment called the secretory component or secretory protein uh, secretory component or secretory protein or it is also called T component okay T component and secretory component is a important part here and which is also helping to he uh, hold these two different uh, monomers of IgA together okay now uh, why this kind of J chain and the secretory components are attached to IgA usually IgA is a monomer right so let's say this is the plasma cell which secretes IgA so here it comes it secretes two IgA suppose here which are uh, both of them are monomers and uh, there are also small peptide molecules that are coming together which are uh, acting as a J chains that are surrounding all together now they first attach to this kind of J chains all together to make a slight dimerized form now this along when they are attached to this J chain they can be recognized and can be bound with a poly IG receptor that are present onto the epithelial cell which is ready for the secretion because when it need to be ready for the secretion it must be attached and engulfed into this epithelial cells which are the secretory cells now here comes the epithelial cells onto the surface of it we are having the poly IG receptors onto this poly IG receptor the dimeric IgA starts to bind as this dimeric IgA will bind to this poly IG receptor it will be internalized by the receptor mediated endocytosis process then enzymes will be released and then it will be cleaved uh, and when they are cleaved from this basement the whole system along with these two IgA molecules J chain as well as with this kind of poly IgA receptor will come out and they form a structure of dimer like that. Now as they come out uh, using this dimer structure the, this uh, poly IgA receptor that are present onto the surface of epithelial cells are converted or are now being called as secretory component or T component. This is nothing but the receptor that was previously received the dimeric form of IgA.